Since 2004, Kansas City Actors Theater has showcased some of Kansas City's finest actors and performers. In addition to their regular season, they will have two stage readings this year that are supported by the Neighborhood Tourist Development Fund. Today we are at the National World War I Museum and Memorial because that is where the first stage reading will take place on March 18th. We are fortunate to have one of the actors from that stage reading here with us today, Cinnamon Schultz <laughs> and Matt Samak, who is the Marketing and Development Director for Kansas City Actors Theater. Thank you both for taking time to talk to us today at the museum. My pleasure. Thanks for having us. <laughs> Cinnamon, you not only are part of the first stage reading, but mm -hmm. you've been part of the core of Kansas City Actors Theater probably since the beginning. Well, I have, I remember the very first meeting they had to announce that they were going to become a theater in the first place. And then I've been lucky to be a part of the artistic core for five years now. And it's been wonderful. And what was it about the theater that made you want to join? I love the fact that it's artist-led and artist-driven. The fact that we focus especially on local artists, not only the local actors but local designers as well, and we try and focus on the theater to showcase all of them because we have a lot of good talent here in Kansas City. Yes, we do. <laughs> Cinnamon, can you tell us a little bit about the play without giving too much away? Of course. I'm actually directing the staged reading and it has nine characters in it. One of the characters plays an older version of the other one. And spoiler alert, all the characters but that one do pass away from the Battle of Somme, which uh, historically took place July 1st, 1916. And that's what it's based on. And it's mostly about the relationship that the men form together because they're all on equal footing. None of them are officers and it's all about their bond together before they eventually go over the trench during the psalm and originally fighting for they think honor and glory and in the end that's not really what they were fighting for. And then you also mentioned that this is a stage reading and can you talk mm -hmm. about the difference between the stage reading and the other plays that are in the regular season? Of course, of course. The regular productions have a set and lights and everything, costumes that go with it. In a stage reading all the actors are still reading from the script but with as much acting as they can and we can still show relationships with each other but it just doesn't have a lot of the same movement. Of course. And Matt, um, The Women is the second yes. stage reading and they're very very different they in are. story. <laughs> um, what was the, was there, how were they selected? Uh, and so The Women, which is a play by Claire Luce, uh, was, has been a favorite of um, a colleague of the Kansas City Actors Theater for a while, uh, who will also be the director of that reading, Sidney Garrett of the Heart of America mm -hmm. Shakespeare Festival. Um, and so part of the point of doing these readings is that it allows the company to experiment with plays that we wouldn't be able to do because they're too big or would be too expensive to do in a full production. So The Women has a cast of 35 characters. Uh, and so that is a, a little, and Kansas City Actors Theater prides ourselves on um, the paying our actors and our performers fairly. And so when you combine those two things together, it's a little cost prohibitive. Uh, so the environment of a staged reading lets us uh, explore and kind of share this work with our audience and also gives us the opportunity to collaborate with other um, artistic people in the in the Kansas City community. And these two stage readings are free but you want to make your reservation early. Right. And what's the best way to do that? So the best way to do that is to send me an email to matt, M-A-T-T, -T, at kcactors.org or you can call our administrative office at uh, 816 Three six one five two two eight, and either talk to um, the person you get on the phone there or leave a message. And if people want to know more about Kansas City Actors Theater in general, where would be the best place to go? The, our website is kcactors.org. Uh, you can find information about our season. Our next season will be up there soon and whatever show we have going on at the moment. Another great place to go is our Facebook page, which is, you can just search Kansas City Actors Theater on Facebook and like us there. We put a lot of stuff up uh, there about reviews, uh, behind the scenes information. Um, we've had uh, pieces that have been written by our designers about their process for how they design and why things look a certain way, um, along with photos and kind of whatever the exciting things that we're up to at any given point in time. So great. That's a little behind the scenes? Yeah. Yes. 
things. Well, thank you so much for taking time to talk to us about Kansas City Actress Theater and also about your stage readings. Mm -hmm. Thank well, you. Thanks for having us. The Neighborhood Tourist Development Fund supports local nonprofits that bring cultural, social, educational, and recreational activities to our area. To learn about additional upcoming events, visit kcmo.gov slash ntdf.